Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of ProactiveComputerSupport.com and MakeMoneyOnlineForBeginners.com. And today I'm very excited to tell you about a database list blog, also known as a flat file blog. And I have trouble saying flat file. But anyway, it's really neat. It's a good replacement for WordPress, in my opinion. WordPress is one of the top uh, blog formats. And because it has a database and because it's very popular, uh, it gets attacked a lot by viruses and, uh, um, and things like that. So this is a nice replacement and it's really easy to use. So this is a free WordPress blog replacement to help you make more money online, no database required by Rick Kirkham of MakeMoneyOnlineForBeginners.com. This was done with Google Slides. Help is now available for Google Drive, the Microsoft Office 365 replacement, and Gmail by Remote Computer Tutor and Troubleshooter, J. Richard Kirkham, BSc. That's me. Uh, just go to ProactiveComputerSupport.com forward slash Google Drive help. So why no database, Rick? It's simple to use. It's faster. It doesn't have to read it from a database and then uh, write back. And it's easy to back up and restore. Okay, guys, remember a server, uh, uh, a hosting server is somebody else's computer, basically, right? which means that's bound to crash or whatever. And do not depend on your web host site to back things up for you. You do it yourself. Download your entire website. And with a flat file, <laughs> a flat file blog, when you download everything, you're backing it up. When you're using something like WordPress or something like that, and you try to back that up. You also have to export the database as well too. And importing the database can sometimes be problematic. So you're kind of taking a chance. Okay, benefits to HTML -E flat file database list blog. It's free, yay. It has a WYSIWYG. That stands for what you see is what you get editor. So you don't need to know any HTML code for the basic blog. It comes in different formats, including an easy to use video post, which I've, I've recently used this. So I'm gonna click on this and that video post should come up here for you. And you can actually see now, I did have to know you know, kind of look around and figure out some uh, where to where to be able to add these. These are what they call iframes. So those don't come with it, but you know, I was able to figure it out and I do a little coding. I can obviously help you do that. But when we scroll down, there it is. And to get this in here, all I had to do was put the link in. Okay, I didn't have to copy it and get the iframe code and then paste that into the source code or anything like that. I just punched in the link and this showed up right on top here. Okay, they also have a provide you with an RSS feed. I'm going to click on this again. So an RSS feed stands for Real Simple Syndication. You notice I'm really just starting out with HTML -E here and playing around with it, and I really love it already. Uh, but this RSS feed here can actually be used uh, with... How do I want to say this? It can actually be used with online services to post automatically to social media. That way, if you're really busy, let's say you got two jobs or whatever, 
it's not a problem. Your your social media stuff can still get posted, and you can you don't have to have a third job of posting all that and not be able to spend any time at all with your family. Okay, requirements. Website hosting with PHP 5.3 and about all normal web hosting companies do that anyway. Uh, sites such as Wix, for example, all the real popular ones where you just go in and make a free website and eventually pay for it and all that stuff. They do not support PHP. You know, it's PHP is uh, what's called a server side language. That means it's stuff that happens in the back end and they probably don't use PHP to to help protect their uh, graphic user interface. Also called a UI, by the way, user interface. But uh, here are some uh, recommendations for good low cost hosting uh, with that support PHP. There's uh, InMotion Hosting and Bluehost. I'm personally right now using InMotion Hosting and I have used Bluehost so, before. So this is, this is not me getting a list of hosting uh, and then writing an article with a bunch of affiliate links. Now, these happen to be affiliate links here, okay? That means that if you click on them and get hosting, then I get a small commission for that. It doesn't cost you anything more and you're supporting my efforts. So if you can use those particular links to get your hosting, I would appreciate that. Okay, how to install HTML -E blog. Absolute easiest way, hire me. Computerhelp808 at gmail.com. Other than that, download the HTML -E flat file database list blog unzip the file, make your folder on your website that you want the blog to go into, upload the files that you unzipped into that folder. And then from there you go to your website, you know, and then forward slash folder that you made. And then after that, you, you type in install.php and press enter. And it's amazingly fast. I guess that's because it doesn't have to create a database and stuff like that. Uh, but here's here's an example, which you've already seen. I got to add just a little bit of code in there to make this secure, but it it actually already is. There you go. So this is what it looks like after I've done a little bit of editing. And I used, um, this is Twitter on the right hand side. I used an embed code there. Uh, this is part of my drip income system. Here's where people can follow me on Twitter. That's also in there. And then these are my latest RSS feeds from my drip income system. And I got those in there too. And it's the same thing along the side here too. I, I have a reason for them being both there. It's basically for uh, mobile phone friendliness. Now, if you wanna see how it actually starts out, let me see if I can get this out of the way here. Here we go. So I just installed this one. Uh, this is for my proactive computer support.com website. Uh, FF blog obviously stands for flat file blog, but this is how it starts out. No posts or anything like that. And by the way, in order to log in, uh, it, it's a little bit strange, but it's different. So it's nice and secure to log in. You just type in log in and then press enter on the keyboard. And then you type in your username and your password and you can log in. Uh, no need, no need to do that. No need to get into the back end or anything like that. Mostly I just wanted you guys to see this. And let's go into this a little bit more. 
see if I got something else for you. If there's enough interest in HTML blog, uh, let me know, put a comment uh, in the video, uh, in the comment section of the video. Uh, in the meantime, get signed up for my work from home affiliate marketing passive income system utilizing the drip income software that I wrote myself. Okay, so be sure to go to make money online for beginners.com and get signed up with that. You notice similarities, right? I used uh I used a lot of the like iframes and other code and things like that that I already had uh, for the blog as well too. Uh, since you're looking at this PayPal order form here, I have an absolutely ridiculous price here of five dollars a month uh, for the uh, um, for the basic version. I mean, it's it's ridiculous as far as the pricing goes. I'm basically trying to help people and give back. And let's see what else there is. I think that's all there is. So enjoy HTML. -y. Let me know if you would like to know more about that. And obviously, get signed up with MakeMoneyOnlineForBeginners.com. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll consider using some alternative to WordPress. I'm not a big fan of monopolies. And the fact that WordPress has competition now just makes me happy as heck. So uh, God bless you. Enjoy your websites. Enjoy the blog. And enjoy making money online. And enjoy your family. Have a great day. Aloha.